so I don't know. It's been the last couple weeks have been kind of kind of wild for me. I um my hair is being crazy. I don't know. <laughs> it's like 2020 has just been a year for just I don't know. <laughs> I don't know the words. I think it's one of those things where I remember going into the year and everybody was so positive about it. It was going to be a great year. 20, 2020, I see 2020. It's going to be clear. It's going to be this. It's going to be that. And it's just been one thing after the other of just, just negativity and pain, you know? And I guess there's a lot of lessons to be learned with all of this. Um, but it's still hard to, to kind of see it at this point, you know, it's kind of, it's just hard to see where, where all this is going, <laughs> what we should be feeling, what we should be doing. Um, I look out like my, Today I've been really emotional and I can't understand why and it's and it's not I don't even know if it has anything to do with COVID. I don't think it has anything to do with the the racial climate and everything. It's just like my emotion today I've just been really weepy for some reason. Like I was watching like um My Fair Wedding and with David Tatera. It's an old as old ones too. Um and I don't know I start crying because this month is a month of it would be my anniversary month of where I got married um, I got married June 18th and 2011 and I think it's one of those things where I remember the excitement of it all I remember this month was just I couldn't wait you know for the day that I was gonna get married and prior to a couple months prior to that actually it was um, April uh, 25th where the tornadoes came crashing through Alabama and Tennessee and some other states and so tornado actually came through my backyard um, and tore off part of a roof and just demolished my whole neighborhood and amongst with so many things like our cars were damaged it was just you know crazy and I remember the feeling that I had when I was in that closet with my ex and I was terrified like I've always like it's like I've always had that nightmare of being pulled up into a tornado like <laughs> The worst to me that was the, that would be the worst way to die like you're aware of everything and you're being sucked up into a funnel and it's like throws you you know what I mean so you're high in the sky and it's just it's just you don't know where it's gonna throw you and then it's gonna be your death you know and so when you hear that sound and everybody describes it as um like a railroad or sorry a train train or something like that for me, it didn't sound so much like a train, but it just, it was super loud. It was, you, you knew it was like a vortex of a, a lot of wind coming straight towards you. It was just super loud and scary and powerful because the whole, your the whole house shakes and you're just like frightened. And I just remember that feeling of there is nothing you can do about it. And I think that's the scariest thing. When there's nothing you can do, you just have to accept it. You just have to take it, you know, and it's scary. That's a scary feeling, especially when the elements are involved because they're so, you know, nature is cruel. She don't care. <laughs> like She's going to do what she's going to do. Keep it moving. And, um, you know, the tornado doesn't have 
you know, it takes its path, and whatever whoever's in the middle of its path is gonna be just, you know, it's gonna be what it is. And so, I remember being in that closet with my ex, and I just remember just I was like breathing hard and hyperventilating and all that kind of stuff. And I just remember saying, God, please, I can't go like this. Please not like this. Please not like this. Because it's just, it wasn't that I was afraid to die. It was just, I was afraid to die like that. You know what I mean? And that's what I meant. Not like this. Like any other way but this, you know? Um, and then it goes by. And everything looks so crazy. And it. I, I don't... I don't even know like it was so scary like the minute it was gone it was super quiet you know what I mean and it was like I could hear the water coming into the house because the part of the roof was gone and everything and it was just it was eerie you know what I mean and so I we go outside and there's no lights because you know power is out and everything but you see the lightning in the background that's what kind of lights up the sky and lights up everything so you can see and I saw what I thought was the apocalypse had happened. Trees were all, I mean, gone. It was just, it looked like a war zone. You know, like some bomb had come off, you know? And, and when you, I looked at my, the damage and all of the debris and trees and the fence was missing, everything was just, it just looked like it was hopeless, right? And hopeless. And now, I, and I look back and I, and I, we rebuilt, you know, insurance came in and it took uh well over a year for our neighborhood to even look like it didn't get demolished by um our tornado but i think back at that and i just think you know in that moment everything looked like grim but you know at the end of the day things end up working out things end up being okay things ended up moving on and got and things got better and I was just like and it's so funny I'm talking about this now because you know with the state of things everything feels so hopeless and it feels so bleak and you don't see how there's going to be an end you don't see how if there's going to be a light in the tunnel because it just looks dark right but in these things I feel like there will be, there will be a light at the end of the tunnel. There is a light at the end of the tunnel. There will be something better on the other end, right? I do. I believe it. And it's just like right now, things look bleak. Things look terrible. But I believe that with God, things are going to get better. You know, they're not going to be perfect, right? By no means. But it'll be better, you know. And so, sometimes things look so bad, you know, and and things do get better. You know, I, I, I just, and I have to believe that because I see, you know, I see so many different things happening in the world over the years. Things, all kinds of disasters and tragedies. And things that are going on right now happened before. Like, history repeats itself. You know what I mean? Like, um, the Bible talks about there, nothing new is under the sun. This is what it's talking about. There isn't anything new under the sun. And so, with that, just take comfort in knowing that it sucks right now. <laughs> it really sucks. But it will get better. You know? And, like, for me, like, today... Um, I didn't really know why I was so weepy and crying. Um, I just, anytime it's like jeery outside, I have my, I get de kind of that depressing feeling and I try to lift my spirits, but it's really hard for me to do that. Um, and then when I watched that show, I watched like two or three episodes of it and it was about these girls, you know, they were getting married and they just look so happy. And it just, I guess it just brought back memories of how happy I was. And, and that moment, I just, you know, you, you're planning your wedding and 
and I'm starting to get pictures from from then you know on your on my social media and things like that and so everything looks like memories you know and um and my kids like when I gave them back to their dad yesterday both of them cried now my oldest always cries but the little one cried this time and she never does that she did not want to go her dad like she kept saying that and it just it ripped my heart out and I just it's just so hard you know it's just so hard um still you know july 1st will be the a year um the full year we've been divorced and um and then this month is the month that we actually got married and so when i watched those shows i just cried because it was like i felt so happy for those girls you know and I was like, they had the beautiful dresses, they had the cake, they had all that stuff. And I just was like, I remember there was a point in which I didn't think that I ever want to get married again. I was just like, nope, 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 nope. It's all a lie. <laughs> um, I don't feel that way anymore. Um, I feel like when you're with the right person that it's not a lie. it's not a lie it's actually really good um i was talking to my mom and she was yesterday and she was talking about how even now like she's still learning things about changing about things about herself in regards to her relationship with my dad and they've been married over 40 years you know and you're just like gosh <laughs> and one of the things that she said was when you're married you've got to the person you got to compliment each other right there i call it a yin to your yang kind of thing and she's saying where they're weak you're strong and vice versa right and i think the thing that missed i missed in our relationship was that we never complimented one another it was like um it was like we were the same puzzle piece you know what I'm saying? And we didn't fit. Like we both had our own mindset. We all had we both had our own our own um motivations to one thing. We were like, you know, I got mine, well, I got mine. And it was never like we come together as one. You know what I'm saying? Um I never knew my place because it was like he he made it a point to let me know that he didn't need someone to cook and clean for him and that's not what he wanted for me and he wanted intimacy, but he couldn't explain to me what it like it meant, what that meant to him. And it was just like, I never knew my role. You know what I'm saying? I didn't know where I fit in that relationship. Where do I fit with him? What do I, how do I make him better? And it was like, he didn't see when I would say that. I'm like, I don't compliment you, you know, any, any way, you know, I don't add anything to your life, you know? And, and in the end of the day, sex is not all there is to marriage and it's just like i don't know if he even understood what i was saying and it was frustrating i was so frustrated because i didn't know my place i didn't know where i fit with him and when i see my parents i see where my dad is weak and my mom is stronger and then where my uh, mom is weak you know i see where my dad is strong you know and so it's like they complement one another and so that's what i i need you know what i mean and i feel like for the first time in my life i actually can imagine myself getting married again and i never thought that i would ever say that <laughs> ever in my life i never thought that i said i will be somebody's partner i will be committed to them but i just can't see myself getting married again but then I just realized that I can. And I think maybe it has something to do with um, the person I'm talking to. You know, because I see now in just a short amount of time that we've spent together, I see how... I see how we can fit. You know what I'm saying? Like, I see, like... Where he'll, he'll tell me things like, well, you can help me with that. Yeah, I'm not good at that. You can help me with that. And I'm like, 
excuse me, what? Like, you know, I've never heard, you know, I've never had that. Like, for my ex, he's never, never. He knew everything. He could do it himself, you know. And I was just, like, twiddling my thumbs over here, you know. But this guy's just, like, he's not afraid to, sh to like, show his weakness and to say he needs help or anything like that. And, like, that is so different for me. You know, we have a lot in common, and he is really sweet. He really listens to me, and um, he remembers things, too. Um, like little things, I say. And, um, and I think, and we like to do the same stuff. And he was, he was saying that he never had that before, you know, to have somebody that enjoys to go, like, hiking and doing things outdoors and just a lot of stuff that I do like he didn't have that with his his ex or whatever and so it's just like we're just enjoying each other we're just enjoying the time with each other and how um it's just easy there's it's like it's and it's, and it's not like he's perfect because he's not and it's not like I'm blind to any of the things that I can see as possible things, but I have things as well, but it's just, it's not to the point where it's a red flag. You know what I'm saying? It's just a different, you, we, we all have our little things that we need to work on and stuff, but it's not that, it's not an issue, a deal breaker for me. You know, it's something that I can work with and, and I know that I can help him with and I know like the issues I have, um, he's already helping me with, <laughs> you know? And, um, just for me being able to like speak my mind, not speak my mind in like a bad way, but to say how I feel and stop hiding, like holding things in because I, if anybody knows me, they know it takes a lot for me to say how I feel because I don't like to tell my feelings. And I know it seems funny because I'm telling you guys how I feel right now, but it's like when I get one-on-one -on -one with someone and they're staring at me in my face, <laughs> it's just I don't know I freeze up you know like, like I'm like that deer caught in the headlights because I just like I feel like they're peering into my soul and I I'm exposed I feel naked you know and I get nervous and all that and um so he makes me feel so comfortable that I can tell him things I, I'm feeling and he doesn't make me feel bad he doesn't um he doesn't make me feel stupid you know because um that was something that I dealt with, you know, in with the last person because I know I'm a smart person, but it's like sometimes he make me feel dumb. And he doesn't this new guy does not make me feel dumb. So that's new. <laughs> well, and so it's like Definitely taking things slow, um, but like I was saying, I can actually imagine myself getting married again one day with somebody and going that route again, and then maybe it being a better situation, and that's a good feeling. That's a good feeling. Because I didn't, I didn't haven't felt that way in a long time. I haven't felt that way in a long time. So, so, um, don't know where this is all going. You know, this relationship, we're dating, <laughs> as we're calling it, and um, but I like, I like it. I like where it's headed and and it's giving me hope to know and it's teaching me it's like you gotta learn from things learn from your any situations with people any relationships friendships really you know relationships whatever learn from them even if they're for a short time just what did you learn from that what did you gain from that person or learn about yourself you know and I'm learning that I can not be afraid to express myself and 
that that person is still going to be there and they're going to still like me for me and they're going to listen to me and really want to know me and want to get to know me. <sighs> so I'm going to leave it here. Um, and I just know that, you know, with all this quarantining and all this stuff going on and, and almost forgetting to get my mask and like all of that can get to, can get to you because it's different. It's not what we're used to, but it's not going to be forever, you know, and we just got to learn to just take a deep breath and, and just go with it for however long we need to, you know, I know that it'll get better one day. So, but yeah, that's all I got to say. And yes, I did get my nails done <laughs> and my hair. <laughs> I broke. I had a break. I couldn't. I couldn't do it anymore. I just like. I could. I had to like the thing I like about the way people were doing it now, even when we're open, is that at least they're requiring people to like if you get your nails done or you get your hair done. Like for me, my nail place, you can't go in to, unless you had a mask. I have a mask. You get the call in or appointment, and then they only let like two, like three people in at a time. And then the lady that did my hair, she checked my temperature first and she, um, yes. And then she had a mask on and I did too. And there was nobody else there. So that was fine. And, um, you know, and I've been into some, like, even like, um, one of these places, they checked our temperatures before we went in, you know, social distancing and whatnot. So it's like, you know, we gotta do what we have to do for the time being and, just you know so <laughs> how to get them done i couldn't take i don't know have you seen our previous videos they were just terrible i'm sorry <laughs> i can't go out like that anymore i just couldn't do it so but i'll holler at you guys next time <laughs> peace